food. All of you need it. But how sure are you humans that you always have enough food? I am a crab cake, a plant-based protein made from microalgae. See, there will be 10 billion humans competing for food in 30 years. You need resources like water and space to grow your food. And your food also needs food. Events have also shown that food supply chains can be disrupted. So, how can we address food security challenges and others such as global warming and waste management? That is why the folks at Tomasek Foundation launched the Livability Challenge to find tangible solutions. Today, history can be made. We'll be honored together to bring the world a new protein. And I am one of them, a plant-based protein made from microalgae, which can feed the world sustainably in the future. Today, I take the form of a crab cake. Tomorrow, microalgae can be made into other kinds of food. The Livability Challenge by Tomasi Foundation provides us a wonderful venue where we can get quality time to pitch to the investors, to the community, to the corporates our ideas. By doing so, we are able to elevate and promote our project. With the grant, we're planning to set up our first company-owned facility here in Singapore. This is very important because our technology is proprietary. It would be best to have a company-owned facility to demonstrate our technology. Another use of the grant will be um, patents. By the end of 2020, we should have minimum 10 patents filed for the whole year or even more. We believe microalgae will be an important food ingredient of the future. Compared to the conventional animal farming, agriculture, and aquaculture, B, you need about one and a half year. Even soy, we're talking about two to three months. We can harvest the protein in just three days. So you save a lot of energy, a lot of water with this short time frame of growth. In a 200 square meters facility, we can produce 350 kg of protein. And this is enough to feed 5,000 people for one day. That means the facility which produces food from microalgae, like me, can be deployed almost anywhere, even in tiny Singapore, which currently imports her food. Singapore can even potentially become a protein powerhouse, exporting food. And microalgae grows really quickly. This makes plant-based proteins a viable and sustainable source of food, replacing proteins from meat. In this way, food made from microalgae, like me, can be lower priced, provide good nutrition, and benefit more people. Microalgae actually packed a lot more nutrients than most of the animal and plants, or even seafood on the planet. Microalgae is rich in minerals like iron, zinc, and magnesium. It is also rich in vitamin B, especially vitamin B12, which is not found in plant products. Depending on the strain, some might have high omega-3, like EPA and DHA as well. We want to create a taste-neutral product that could be used in almost all kinds of food. Our fermentation process can bring out certain flavors like the seafood taste in our crab cakes. Now, even your friends who have seafood allergies can finally have a taste of crab. Next time you see me, be sure to give me a try.